Well, it sounds like if you're planning to travel for New Year's Eve, you might want to get a head start if possible. Isn't that right, Dina? Yeah, definitely. It would be a good time to get on the road now before the really active weather starts to kick up later on this evening here. Our Ochre Mountain camera looking down. You can see some of our clouds are just cooking along here. So we've got some active weather definitely on the way and strong winds ahead of our system, too. Old Mill camera's been a little bit shaky today, and our temperatures now are in the 30s, 39 in Salt Lake, 38 in Ogden, and 40 in Provo with our winds out of the south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Visible picture is interesting today. You saw that ahead of the system, we had this blank area. We're in, in western Utah and over the west desert here, all the way going into Delta and over by Great Basin and Baker, Nevada. We had a little bit of sunshine throughout here. And also you can see the cloud ripples as well with the strong winds. And there's our next cloud shield coming in. But with the strong winds, really impressive wind gust just in the last hour. Hidden peak with our wind gust of 82 miles per hour. Hour. That's the top of Snowbird where the tram is on hold now. Mount Baldy and over in Alta, winds 50 miles per hour or so. Deer Valley getting up there around 45 miles per hour. And the same in Provo Canyon and Salt Lake City Airport. 30 mile per hour winds and gusty winds on Evanston along I-80. So blowing snow conditions as well. So we still have the snow starting to build in now into the Cache Valley. Most of it pretty light. You had about five inches overnight and it slowed down a bit. But we can see the snow now starting to fill in along I-84 and over the Utah-Idaho border and into northern Nevada here over into the Jackpot area and White Pine County, Nevada. So some of that will move eastward in the next few hours. But it will all start to fill in around dinner time tonight as the system really gets going. So enjoy this kind of quiet time before it gets a little bit messy later on. Winter weather advisory for all the counties that you see here in purple, and that does include the urban locations like Provo and up to Salt Lake, into Logan, and our high elevations as well. And those winter weather advisories are for tonight and all of Friday. So expect some snowy weather for sure. 39 degrees now in Salt Lake, 24 up at Alta where it's really windy, 36 here in Heber. We're still in the 40s in St. George, 42 in Moab and 26 up at beautiful Bryce Canyon. Futurecast going forward. There's our snow starting to fill in tonight. Now, it should start just as a little bit of a rain-snow mix, but the air is pretty cold higher up, so that should change over to snow really quickly. If we have any rain, I don't think it'll be long-lived. It should switch over to snow. So snow tonight and a little bit more snow on and off on Friday. It starts to push into southeastern Utah over to Green River and Moab, Blanding, Monticello. You'll see some action tomorrow as well. And then high pressure moves in on Saturday. And by about lunchtime, we should be done. There could be a few lake effect bands with this. But also of note on Thursday, that's tonight, as the system pushes through and the cold air settles in, not just snow, but also blowing snow. Looking at some of the models here, our wind gusts, 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially at the highest elevation. So this could be an issue, especially Spanish Fort Canyon in here, connecting into Carbon County and over to Price. That could be an issue for some of you tonight. So poor travel conditions and snow is definitely on the way. We're talking about one to two feet of snow at our northern mountains. Benches getting about four to nine inches in places like Salt Lake City. Four to six inches of snow by the time this is all said and done. So today, high temperature of 40, mostly clouds today, and then the weather moves in tonight with the snow. So 27 degrees tonight, definitely cold enough to support that snow, but rain in St. George. So you've got the rain in southern Utah mixing with a little bit of snow, actually, on Friday, and then quiet weather brings in New Year's Day, just very cold. And in northern Utah, that's including Salt Lake, we'll start to get that active weather tonight, snow on Friday and a little bit of snow Saturday morning and much colder air. But when we all go back to work, I know people aren't thinking about that just yet, but when we all go back to work after the holiday, it should be pretty quiet next week. That's right. Well, boy, we know that we need that snow, but it is going to be cold out there, especially as we wrap up 2021 and head into 2022. It's hard yep. to believe. feels like it's time has flown. Yeah, it sure gone? does. <laughs>